Oh, slow down. Well, I don't understand. What does this have to do with John? You said lives were at stake. Yes. Well, I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think so. Is John in danger? No. John Black is the danger. I seem troubled. What is it, Andre's murder? No. Will? No. Well, sort of it, but it's not about our relationship. It's about you, Dad. <laughs> it's about me? What about me? Come on, kid, whatever it is, just spit it out. What about me? I, I, I didn't want to have to do this, but Will left me no choice. Okay, what, what I'm about to say doesn't even make sense to me, but I need you to be honest with me. Okay, look, I'm not going to pretend like I even understand everything that goes on in this town. The connections, the history, the secrets. I understand. But I have spent a lot of time around John since I've moved here. And I've, I live with him and Marlena, and for the most part, he's been great. He cares about you very much. Yeah, but the thing is, lately he has been... Clandestine. Clandestine. He's been taking a lot of secretive phone calls. He's been hiding things from his family, from Paul, from Marlena. You know he's an agent of the ISA, right? So, I mean, he's taking secret phone calls. That's probably because he's on a case, well. I really don't think this is about work. John's one of the good guys. You have nothing to worry about. You're only telling me that because I haven't told you what he's doing. You know that I trust you more than just about anyone in the world. Yeah. And, and I've put my life in your hands and you've never let me down. God, I hoped it wouldn't have come to this. It looks like it has. So what's this all about? Dad, right now, Will is... There you are. Hey, Doc. Hi. Hey, honey. How are my boys? You know what? I, I, I need to go. I need to find Will. I... No, 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 no. Not so fast there, kid. You were about to tell me something. It can wait. I Are you I sure about that? It seemed kind of important. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll text you. All right. All right, but before you leave, maybe we ought to fill in Doc what we uncovered. Really? Is it about uh, Andre's death? Yeah. You're not going to believe who sent Anna to mirror over Andre's office that night. I understand. John has a job that requires keeping secrets. But what I've seen is a lot more suspicious and damning than just a few phone calls. Well, I understand that you don't really know me these days. But we're a family. You can tell me anything. Your ring. Uh, it's, it's, I've seen your ring before. This is my engagement ring. Rafe and I are getting married soon. Oh, uh, congrats. Thank you. Um, it's a weird question. Was it my mom's? Hmm? My mom and Rafe were, were married once, right? Yeah, they were. But that was, that was quite a while ago. Rafe would never give me something that once belonged to Sammy. Yeah. Why does it look so familiar to me? Maybe you're getting your memory back. No, I, I feel like it was recent. Um, sorry, it was like when my mom was in town. Uh, I found yeah, I found it in her place. And she said that EJ gave it to her. Well, rings must be very similar then. Yeah, yeah, uh, I guess so. Um, anyway, ab yeah. about, about John. Yeah, let's get back to John. Oh, we really need to speak with you. Um, hey, Will. Hey, you're, uh, you're out of jail. Are you cleared? Well, we're just out on bail now, but we're working on it. Okay, that, that's good to hear. Well, thank you. Uh, can you do me a favor? Anna and I really need to speak to Commissioner Brady alone. Um, actually... I'm well, sorry. Well, really can't <laughs> wait. Really can't wait. Very, very important. Well, I'm very sorry. Can we finish this conversation later? I will call you the minute I'm done with them. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Thanks, Will. I'll call you soon, okay? 
You, have you told Hope that Hattie sent the letter to Anna? Well, Roman's on his way over there. He thinks this might clear Anna of Andre's murder. Wait a minute. Do you think that Hattie killed him? Tell you what, why don't we all go to the pub, grab some lunch here, and we'll get you up to speed, okay? okay. I, I really need a Are you well. sure about that? We didn't finish our conversation. Yeah, you know what? I should go. It's good to see you. Mm -hmm. Honey, Dad. Yeah. Hey, Dad, I love you. Yeah. I love you too, kid. Let's go, sweetheart. Yeah. Well, where did you go? Why did you take off like that? I went to the police station to talk to Commissioner Brady. You went to go see Hope. Did you tell her about my dad and the poison? No. Thank you. Well, to be honest, I was going to, but then things got in the way. What makes what? Well, for starters, um, Hope's engagement ring looks exactly like my mom's. And then, just as I was about to tell Hope about John and the poison, my grandfather showed up. My grandfather showed up and kicked me out of the office. I thought we were gonna, thought we decided we were gonna investigate before going I to the cops. I know, I did, but I was worried about Marlena and Steve. But when you were talking to the cops, I decided to confront my dad. You asked him about the poison? We got interrupted too. Oh, so basically we're right back where we started. Look, I don't want you to go back with Hope. I, 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 I know, I know, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm worried. I mean, Steve's life could be at stake here. That's why we're going to keep investigating. What if we take too much time and something terrible happens to Steve? What if John in, ends up hurting Marlena? My dad is a good man. I know he is. But I know all of these people are barely more than strangers to you, and me included. Well, please... I need you to trust me. You shake it? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's cold. Oh, oh he's my dad. My dad. It's Hattie, isn't it? Well, yeah. I, I never feel quite safe when she's in town. I want you to listen to me, God. There may be some things out of my control right now, but I will never let Hattie Adams or anyone else ever hurt you again. I do trust you, Paul. You and Marlena are the only two people I, I really trust. Then promise me you won't go back to the cops. Promise me that you'll help me get to the bottom of this. But how? Are you just going to, I mean, unless you just ask your dad about it. I don't think he's going to tell me the truth. I don't think that he can. Okay. You said you heard John on the phone talking about poisoning Steve. Do you have any idea who he was talking to? No. But, but I heard him say that he'd wait to hear back. Which, which means it's still going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a one-time thing. So if the vial in his hand was poison, and then we couldn't find any more on him, then he's going to need more. Okay, you know what we have to do. But you're not going to like it. So you, you want to follow my father, a trained ISA agent. How else are we going to find out who is ordering him to poison Steve, if that's what he's doing? Paul, aren't we past this? Hey, look, I don't think it's going to be easy tailing him without tipping him off. Your son. I'm his step-grandson. So he's not going to suspect us. We just we make him think everything's normal. Meanwhile, we watch everything that he does. What? You don't you don't like the plan? No, 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 it's not that. It's just that uh, 
You're sounding more and more like old Will Horton, investigative reporter. Is that a good thing? Well, for this case, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Then, then we're in agreement. We follow John, and we figure out what he's up to. Let's do this. <laughs>